reading a reading from the book of leviticus chapter 13 verses 1 to 2 and chapter 44 verse 16 the lord spoke to moses and aaron saying when a person has on the skin of his body a swelling or an eruption or a spot and it turns into a leprous disease on the skin of his body He shall be brought to Aaron the priest or to one of his sons the priests He is leprous he is unclean The priest shall pronounce him unclean the disease is on his head The person who has the leprous disease shall wear torn clothes and let the hair of his head be disheveled and he shall cover his upper lip and cry out unclean unclean he shall remain unclean as long as he has the disease he is unclean he shall live alone his dwelling shall be outside the camp the word of the lord second reading a reading from the first letter of st paul to corinthians Chapter 10 verses 31 and chapter 11 verse 1 So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do everything for the glory of God Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to the church of God just as I try to please everyone in everything I do not seeking my own advantage but that of many so that they may be saved be imitators of me as i am of christ the word of the lord proclamation of the holy gospel according to mark a leper came to him begging him and kneeling he said to him If you choose you can make me clean moved with pity Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him I do choose be made clean immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean after sternly warning him he sent him away at once saying to him See that you say nothing to anyone but go show yourself to the priests and offer for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony to them but he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word so that Jesus could no longer go into a town openly but stayed out in the country and people came to him from every quarter the gospel of the lord cleanliness is something which we are thinking about in which we need to have and in which we are keen of cleanliness is something that all of us are expecting for my dear friends the way we dress the clothes we wear at our houses our vicinity at our schools everywhere we need this cleanliness and even the state and the leaders of our country they are stress they are stressing on this point the cleanliness why do we need this cleanliness because we need this cleanliness so that we can think and we see we can see the things clearly if the waters are clean we can see what is inside of this water whether it is good to drink or not 
when we have cleanliness, it is transparent. That is why the accounts that we handle need to be cleaned and need to be transparent to all. Therefore, when we lose this cleanliness, when we lose this cleanliness, what happens? We do not like to be in that place or we do not like to associate with these people because they have no cleanliness, they are not cleansed. In the same manner, my dear friends, today in the readings, we are invited to be cleansed, not just outwardly, but inwardly. That is what matters most. So, in today's Gospel, Jesus meets a leper. And in the first reading taken from the book of Leviticus, it is very clearly says how a leper needs to be behaved, how a leper needs to behave himself. He has to go away from his loved ones and they have a separate place to live. And when he goes out, he needs to shout unclean. This leprosy is regarded as an unclean disease, a physical ailment on those days. But today, we have permanent cure for the leprosy. But in Jesus' time, it was a disease, a spreading physical disease which cannot be cured. And some of the people, they thought this leprosy is a curse from God because they have sinned. Because they have sinned and no one is there to touch these people and no one is there to go before these people or have connection with these people. They are fully taken away from the society. Therefore, my dear friends, today this leper, he asked Jesus, Lord, if you want, you can make me clean. Which means, this leper, he knows exactly that Jesus is the only person that can give the full recovery from this disease. That's why he comes to Jesus. But still for all, he thinks, if Jesus wants only, he can touch me. He can touch me. Therefore, my dear friends, this inward cleanliness is what is needed and what is expected from the Lord. And He is ready to touch us if we want. The wanting is the matter. Jesus is there for you and me to touch and to cleanse our inward things, my dear friends. And just we need to give Him the space and want to touch us and to be cleansed. Us. Therefore, Today let us reflect whether do I really need or want Jesus to be touched and to cleanse me from all inward leprosy that I am taken of.